Governor Chris met with many of the concerned oystermen, fishermen and seafood workers at the Franklin County Seafood Association meeting at the Parks and Recreation Armory. During that meeting, Chris assured the folks in attendance that the state is doing all it can with BP and U.S. Coast Guard to make sure that this disaster does not destroy a way of life for fishermen and the tourist industries. At times, the meeting did get heated, especially when fishermen questioned the response time and what help they can expect to get of their industries comes to a haul. It's there tomorrow, uh, but I think it's awfully important that the people understand that we're here and we're for them, and we want to do everything we can to keep this oil from coming on shore and have enough boom to try to protect it the very best we can. And that's what this is all about. Just basically, I can see help, help the people and do everything they can do to protect this bay because it's unique to any other bay in the northern hemisphere, not just for the oysters or the seafood. It's, Got a lot of sea life here that is going to kill and won't ever be back. Oil comes in there. According to organizers, the effort focuses on removing as much trash and debris as possible before any oil reaches the beaches to minimize cleanup efforts. County officials and BP representatives organized the massive cleanup that stretched all the way to Cape Sandblast. What we're trying to do is do some preemptive work on the beaches. We're trying to make sure that before the oil, if in doubt, you know, in fact, it, it does come. We've done as much preemptive work we do. We're going down the beach, we're picking up debris, limbs, trees, trees, whatever may be out there. We're going to About 30 volunteers showed up at Gulf Coast Community College to take part in one of two training workshops put together by the local American Red Cross and Bay County Emergency Operations staff. The purpose of this training is to inform volunteers of what their role would be if the oil in the Gulf were to come this way. While these volunteers won't be on the front lines cleaning up the beaches, their role is still just as important. Well, the volunteers will be working behind the scenes in a supporting role, doing lots of things like making sure that supplies are where they need to be for those folks and, and all kinds of things like that. So it's an important role and uh, anybody who would like to, to be part of that, you can still sign up to be on that database. Some 13 teams across Bay County came together earlier today to play a game of kickball, which is everyone's favorite grade school playground game, right? Kicking at old school was today's theme. Each team playing at least two games with a chance to make it to the final rounds. Today's proceeds help students of New Horizons Learning Center attend field trips and other incentives. Here's one team member's strategy to kicking the perfect game. Keep the ball low. You don't want to kick it in the air because they'll catch it. So, and then I guess you got to kind of look in the field to see who's not that good. You know, kind of kick towards their way. And this could definitely spin off into um, some some youth leagues, adult leagues, and we're definitely going to throw another tournament next year. We're we're talking about fall or spring for sure.